to hand over to my best man, James. There's a, th there's a thing you should know about James. <laughs> he, uh, he often struggles um, discerning fact and fiction. <laughs> <laughs> it's a real problem, and we've been trying to address it. Uh, but the good thing is, he has never let um, th never let fact get in the good way in the way of a good story. So, to my best man, James. Thank you, Charlie. Ladies and gentlemen, there comes a point when you realise two people are destined for each other. I can still remember the first time Charlie told me about Madeline. He said, guess what? I met a girl. There's a first. Her name's Madeline, and I'm really excited about her. Naturally, as a friend, I was intrigued. What's she like? And how will she cope with this man? <laughs> and are they well suited? Therefore, imagine my relief when I learned Madeline specialises in paediatrics. <laughs> That's right. I knew from the start they were destined for each other. <laughs> Madeline is clearly a very courageous lady. <laughs> Looking after Charlie, we all know, is a full-time occupation. But having recently moved over from the US, she has single-handedly planned this wedding. Congratulations on organising a wonderful day. You look absolutely breathtaking. And finally, thank you. I have never seen Charlie so happy. Now on paper, Charlie's credentials are impeccable. <laughs> An armed forces background, a public school education, a degree in biochemistry from a top university, a flair for the flamboyant and an eye for the spotlight. With this background and those credentials, you'd expect qualities such as discretion, good taste, sophistication, <laughs> sense of decorum, and irreproachable manners. <laughs> but those of you who know Charlie best might now be wondering whether I'm talking about the same person. <laughs> These qualities have certainly been concealed well. There is more. Buried deep within Charlie is an unbridled passion, drive, thirst and appetite for hard work. Artfully concealed behind the bold, bravado, party-loving, adventure-seeking, raucous chap we all know and well put up with. <laughs> now I'm not saying Charlie is loud, but he does seem to break the fundamental law of physics that light travels faster than sound. <laughs> Because with Charlie, you very definitely hear him before you see him. <laughs> Off paper, and in reality, Charlie is in fact the ideal candidate for a best man speech. There is certainly no shortage of stories or embarrassing tales, with an epic trail of carnage left in his wake, wherever he goes. But fortunately for Charlie, and unfortunately for you, Having gone back through the past 18 years I've known him, I've been able to find many stories that are both acceptably inappropriate for this audience and occasion, and don't incriminate me as well. <laughs> Charlie and I first met at the age of 12 on opposite sides of the rugby pitch, before joining Eastbourne College at 13. Charlie didn't take long to make an impression on me, it turns out a very permanent one. My nipples have never been the same since. <laughs> I will spare you the gory details. You can ask my wife about it later. It's, it's still a little traumatic for me to talk about. <laughs> through those school years, our friendship grew. Initially going through the initiation, or rite of passage, as the older years like to call it. Ben, I see you. <laughs> that comes with being at the bottom of the school. 
Then we struggled through extra English GCSE classes. Charlie enjoyed those so much he took them four times. <laughs> <laughs> we were teammates on the rugby pitch, eventually earning our mighty second shirts in our final year. Now watching Charlie play rugby is something to behold. He was a little slimmer back then. Well, we were both fairly scrawny, to be fair. So obviously Charlie decided the best position on the field for him would be prop. <laughs> now for those of you who don't know rugby, props are the stocky, more rotund ones. Kind of like a defensive lineman for our American friends. It's the kind of figure Charlie's trying to master at the moment. <laughs> We would turn up at matches and line up, and normally at the first scrum, the opposition would laugh or snigger at Charlie getting down in the front row. I don't think any of them were laughing when the first scrum was over. Although not ideally physically suited to the position, he dedicated himself with all of his energy to, to master the technique and be the best prop he could be, which I believe sums his up his attitude to life. He has the ultimate belief in himself. He'll take on any challenge with full commitment, dedication, guts, and determination. Underestimate him at your peril. For all those powers of concealment I mentioned earlier, there is one quality I have yet to mention. A quality Charlie has never hidden from anyone, and one Madeline spotted early on in the courtship process. I talk, of course, of loyalty. Loyalty to his friends, and loyalty to those he loves. The truth is, in the 18 years I've known Charlie, I've never known a more loyal man than this man. I've witnessed this with others and experienced it myself on many occasions when he has stood by me and been with me whenever I've needed him. So it gives me great pleasure to ask you all to stand and raise your glasses to my best friend and his beautiful wife, to the Heartacres. Get it now! <laughs>